Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and this, this video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to go through the sandbox, new balance, uh, list of changes that are coming off in the sandbox ticks on the 10th of February. The 10th of February was yesterday, and we've post postponed today's Two Up Tuesday replay video to bring you this news, and to maybe go through a few of the points we were live streaming last night when this came up, and a lot of people were talking about it in the chat, so we had a look at this video, which was which is pretty comprehensive, this video, it goes for about 12 minutes. We're going to run through it, and uh, I hope we might skip a little bit, but we wanna, we're really going to have to have a have a bit of a look on some of the things that are coming up about the new balance test which kicks off on the 10th of february live radio 10th of february was yesterday but um these are some changes and there's some there's there's some concerns for a lot of people in in this it's going to hold it it's only going to go for 10 days and and, and these changes they're going to they're going to affect a lot of players balance to the tech so i'll throw it over to the the war gaming guys all these changes sort of for a certain about. reason they're talking there's now always about been three types um, of shells in our game look, look, however about special shells, shells have special always been the most effective all this kind of stuff from the player's We've sort point of, of view this Just has like sort of been covered already um premium shells are going to have less alpha damage we know that We've, they've been talked about that as well and uh, and the standard shells are going to have the same alpha damage but not quite as much penetration that's that's not news that's already been that's already been brought up so we're not going to really go over that one too much the main thing I'd, I'd like to point out are the are the changes to the tech tree so in this part of the video he's talking about different the shells uh, are better for for different kinds of situations he is definitely getting reworked which they do touch on on this video they also touch on uh, Special ammunition, what we all used to call gold ammo, or premium ammunition. This looks like most premium ammunition are going to have um, lower penetration. Uh, sorry, lower damage, lower alpha damage for the higher um, for the higher penetration. He's talking about the different sandboxes that he went through. And there was a June, July, October, and December, and now the new balance test is starting up soon. Now the standard shells will will have the most amount of damage, so it's going to have a you know the sim similar penetration that we we we're already used to. Special ammunition, which is the premium or the gold shells, will have more. Uh, penetration but less alpha damage and tactical shells which is the HE shells they're going to have um, less damage they it looks like they're going to be relatively cheap and uh, but their efficiency aren't going to be quite as good but you, you, one thing that one thing that they, they do point out and they're going to point out very very soon they're not touching the KV2 or the KV2R which is which is a tank that uh, or a couple of tanks that people um, people were a little bit concerned about uh, when these HE rework uh, shells were were announced, but they do affect a lot of tanks, and uh, a list is going to come up, but pretty soon I think you're going to see a list of the tanks where it does where it does come up, and there are there are quite a few of them. It's not just the KV2R and the KV2. It's going to be uh, that they're they're obviously not being touched, but the T49 and the Sheridan, they the penetration of their HE shells have been decreased, but they're saying that they're going to be as effective as before. There's a picture there of the, the FE4005. There's, that's another tank where the HE or the Hesh is is certainly going to be um, certainly going to be changed. Let's pause the video right there, and uh, if I make it full screen, is that going to is that going to be viewable? Yes, it is. That's it. Right here. This is how this is how you want to see it. Look at some of these tanks, and some of these tanks are really going to make your eyebrows rise. Now, remember, they've got this policy about um, they've got this policy about premium tanks. I don't like nerfing premium tanks, but there's plenty of premium tanks in there. The T49 and the Sheridan, which they mentioned in the video, the Type 4 and the Type 5 heavy tank. Now, I think oh, somebody was telling me not too long ago that, that now the type, the, the type 4 and the Type 5 AP is the way to go. I haven't played it since they've, they've already been changed, but it looks like they might be changing again their HE rounds. The Charioteer, Conway, and the Shit Barn, the FE4005, they're getting changed as well. The FE215B183, how, how many credits did the FE215B183 just cost on the black market? I hope they... I hope they're not nerfing it and taking away a feature of the tank. Uh, the Centurion Mark 7-1, I've got that in my garage because that's got the, the higher alpha Hess shell. A lot of the French wheeled light tanks, a lot of people will be happy about that, the French wheeled light tanks, because a lot of players really don't like them. People tend to either love them or hate them. I love playing them and playing them, I've got to be honest. But if I'm in something slow or um, you know something slow and, and sluggish uh, that's easily outmaneuvered, uh, like, a, like a, big, a big old tank destroyer, that's sort of hiding somewhere trying to snipe uh, and, and a, 
and a wheel, the French wheel tank comes and gets me. I'm dead. I mean, I don't play those kind of takes very often, but uh, but but uh, when I do, that's one thing I'm certainly worried about. The Panhard AMD 178B, that's the tier 6 tech tree. The tier 7 tech tree, the tier 8 tech tree. The premium tank, yeah, that, this is the first premium tank on the list, the uh, EBR75 FL10. I remember the FL10 as being the front lines tank. It's a, it's a, it's a tank that you can really carry games in, in front lines and, and rank up, rack up those credits as well as the um, credits and... Uh, Ranking, you know, general, major, all that kind of stuff. The EBR90 and the 105, the T9 and 10. Also, that looks like the uh, the British light tanks, the SETA, the LHMTV, the MTV tank, the Senlac, another premium tank. Looks like they're all being affected. If they, they don't tell me they're getting nerfed even worse because. They're, let's face it, they're a little bit lacklustre as they are. The uh, the M4190 and the M4190GF, more premium tanks. The KJ105, that's the uh, the, uh, the the tier 8 non-turreted um, German tank destroyer, which hasn't been out for that long. The Hawk 30, the Mutzes, or the three, three Mutzes there, more premium tanks. Indian Panzer, Leopard Prototype A, the Leopard 1, Spar Panzer RU251, that's the RU Sirius, the Ribme Panzer Wagon at tier 10, and of course now we've got some Italian tanks, the Standard B. Didn't realise the standard B was was a a tank that really relied on HE. So I don't think all of these tanks are really HE dependent tanks, but some of them certainly are. Like the shit barn, the FV four double five stage D, the two one five B one eighty three, definitely the Centurion Action X. Maybe I'll use Hesh on that one. I haven't played that one for ages. The one two one B don't have one of them. The Chieftain Mark six. Did someone say the Chieftain Mark six? Where's my old mate Ziggy? He'll be beside himself when he sees this. At least they haven't forgotten about the Chieftain Mark six. And yes, I did put the Chieftain Mark six in the thumbnail. And of course, because it raised my eyebrows. When I went through this list last night, live on stream, I saw the Chieftain Mark six. I nearly jumped out of my seat. I was pretty excited. But what? You know, anyway, this is about the nerfs to HE. Uh, the, the, the T95 FE 4201 Chieftain. Well, I, I fire APCR in that. I've got to be honest with you. And I only played in Clan Wars. And that, so that might not really be that bad to a tortoise conqueror super conqueror and the fe215b the old tier 10 british heavy tank not too bad um not uh some of them i'm not too concerned about but um maybe we'll leave maybe we'll leave that big for the rest of this but uh some of them i'm, I'm not too concerned about but there are a lot of tanks there there are a lot of tanks there that, go, that are going to be um that are going to be um affected that's that's for sure saying their standard shells are best suited for 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 your Maximizing your DPM. That's basically what they're trying to say. Standard shells for your DPM. HE for, for other occasions when you can't damage with using other using other shells. And as mentioned, the the um, the, the special search, the gold ammo. What well, let's just call it gold ammo. The premium ammo. They um they are going to be uh, not uh, not so much alpha. Now three different shell types with with artillery. Now this is this is something that's also raising eyebrows. Standard ammo is going to uh, not much. Pen, not much pen, but it's going to stun special ammo, um, greater burst damage, but doesn't stun, um, and heat shells. Is there AP as well? There was talk of AP, which I thought they removed AP from the higher tier artillery pieces. Maybe they're bringing that back. I didn't really get some of this part of it. Not too sure, but um, if you need to stun an enemy, pick a standard shell. If you're targeting a large group or want to cause more damage, use a special shell for the bigger, bigger burst. That's right. And uh, cause a bit more, maybe a bit more damage as well. And there's a third shell type for if it's something well armed with a spool line. I'm not sure how you tell if someone's got a spool liner, but I guess it's better. It's an AP. They are. They're bringing back AP shells for artillery. Is that? I thought that was the whole idea of of introducing stone in the first place. I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments. What do you think about the artillery changes? Um, I'm not. I'm certainly not. Um, certainly not. Um, an expert on artillery, and to be honest, are they are, are, are artillery still as bad as they used to be? I'm not too sure. You tell me in the comments. I'm not too sure at all. Better survivability. They're, they're going on about here. Where, where's the tech tree? Where's the track tree bit? These are the this bit here is about the reworked tech trees. And we're going to flick through a few different screenshots of how the new tech trees are going to look, and also go through about what tech trees are going to um, be affected the most, and and then, and what what they're going to do with the tanks. There's 92 tanks that are that are being um, rebalanced. The tech trees. Now I agree with this part of it. it. It does look the tech trees currently do look messy. I um. I could I could not agree more. If I go into if I go into my um, if I go into my um, garage, this is the Russian one. It does look pretty messy. And if I was a brand new player looking at um, you know it's tier one, two, and three, I would be a little bit 
I think oh, it's a little it's a little bit messy. The German and Russian, especially, and to a lesser extent, the American one. The American one does look a little bit neater, but the, but the Russian and German lines, absolutely, are pretty. They're pretty messy, and uh, even the British to some point. What about the French? Mm, who cares about the French? Let's get back to that. Let's get back to that video and hit play again. And uh, so it looks like they're they're going to rework these um, tech tree nations, and with all these different tanks they've introduced to the game. Now, I'm, uh, part of this I'm not too concerned about. Another thing, my eyebrows are raising and I'm thinking, fucking hell, what are they going to do? But uh, it's all conjecture here. Now, they're talking here about the, the lower tier tech trees. They're removing a heap of lower tier tech trees. But don't worry, if you've got a favorite uh, lower tier tank, by lower tiers, I mean tier 1 to 5. If you've got a lower tier tech tree tank that you really like and it's going to be removed, and I can't list them all because there's, I think there's about, I think there's over 80 <coughs> in total. Um, you, you, I'll tell you in a minute how you can keep them. It's uh, it's quite simple. We've got lists of uh, we've got screenshots of of uh, the, how the new tech trees are going to look. But to go through every tank, which is going to be re removed one by one, it will just take too long, and uh, I don't want to bore people. But uh, I'll put links down below of where the screenshots are that I'll be showing you very very shortly. One thing I do like about these tech tree changes, and I think you can see it, I think you can see it here, is that it just looks a lot neater. And the premium vehicles have all been moved to the bottom. So the premium vehicles have been moved to the bottom. It's just to instead of having them, you know, instead of having them all throughout the middle of the screen, having them down the bottom and having the the, the, the tech tree tanks a little bit neater. I think that's a fantastic idea because it's it, it's previously there's been mods out there that can do that. And and that's uh, and uh, and I think it just makes. I don't run any mods at the moment, but uh, if I if we go if we go back to the garage, if we go back to the garage, we can. Um, it it does. It's a bit messy having the premium tanks sort of scattered throughout, especially on the bigger tech trees, the American, the French, the Russian, and the German ones. I think I, I much prefer having them having them like this, having them down the bottom, all um, all nice and neatly. I think that's I think that's a definitely a positive. Um, view and you can see there they're changing that um american line there that it makes it just it looks neater i think that's what i'm trying to say it needs neat it looks neater now the the bottom line and i'm gonna i'm gonna pause this video yet again the bottom line when it comes to these tech trees and i'm gonna show you <coughs> what they look for we're gonna have bigger screenshot links will be down below for all these screenshots this is the new russian tech tree now this is in russian because it's come from what express but uh tech trees the premium tanks are down the bottom. You can see that there. Premium tanks are down the bottom, and and the tech trees are at the top. So this this line down the middle is the line which leads to the IS-7, which they're saying is the most popular line. So that's why it's straight down the middle, and things branch off there. So after tier one, you can branch off to the top for the medium tanks and uh, for the tank destroyers, and then after tier three, you've got that you've got your medium tanks and uh, what else? Medium tanks, artillery, artillery's up the top. TDs and artillery up the top. Heavies, mediums, and lights down the bottom. So that that's, <coughs> pardon me. That looks that looks a lot neater to me. But of course, the concern is, where are all these other tanks? There's the German. There's the German line. A lot of tanks missing there. And with the German tanks as well as the Russians and the uh, and the uh, all the all the big all the big tech trees, there's a lot of low tier tanks that people have got because because they like them. Uh, either there, yeah, they might be padding stats in them, but uh, but also, um, they the people. They're, they're historical. A lot of the lower tier tanks are a lot more historical than the higher tier tanks. And we all know there's plenty of napkin tanks. That's what I call them. Yeah. Tanks that were only ever written down on a piece of paper in a coffee shop somewhere in France during the war. The um, lower tier ones, are a lot of the lower tier ones are more more realistic. Maybe that's why people have got them. So the German one, has certainly the tree's been pruned, I guess you could say. The German tech tree tank has certainly been tr pruned. That's the that's the American one. The American one looks a lot smaller. Looking Look at that one compared to in the garage there's a lot different there's a lot of lot of differences there between between those two again not going to go through every single tank but we will go through the tanks that are, that are being removed at high tiers and the lower tier ones there's going to be a hell of a lot however the good thing about the lower tier ones being removed is that um if you've researched a tier six tank in a particular tech tree then that tech tree you can um buy any of the lower tier ones up to tier five just for credits the, the concern might be that you might need um, you might need a separate crew for each one. I don't think they're going to be utilised the same way as premium tanks or reward tanks as far as sharing crews go. 
you will need individual crews, but you need individual crews for them now. So that's why I'm not too concerned about the lower tier ones getting pruned from the tree. You just have to look into a different section to see them. When you buy them though, they will be stock and you will need to upgrade the engine and the gun and the radio and all that kind of stuff. That's the that's the French one. There's the British one. Certainly looks neater. That's it certainly looks neater. That's uh, that's un, that's undeniable. They they certainly do look neater. If we go back to the video, let's let's see what else he's saying on the video. He's talking about the um, he's talking about all the all the the ones the the new vehicles. There's BT5, the Cavalier, and the Tier Six Medium, and the ones that have been removed from the tech tree will still remain in the game, and they'll and they'll come out from those tanks. See if you can hear Tier mobiles and equipment. Tier 1 to 5 vehicles will be added to the Collector's Vehicles tab in the shop. Vehicles there are sorted by nation. To gain access to the Collector's the Vehicles you can of the collect them nation, in this way. you need to research at least one Tier 6 vehicle of the same nation. Collector's Vehicles can be purchased for credits. You don't need to spend experience to get them. See, that's Still, not a bad modules thing. modules for such vehicles are researched the same way as with regular vehicles. That's not a bad thing. I think that's actually a pretty good thing. So once you get a tier six tank in a particular tech tree, you just pick the ones you want, the low tier tanks that you want, and buy it. And you will need to unlock the gun and the radio, stuff like that. And you will need your own crew. So it's it's it might be called something else, but it's going to be treated the same way the low tier tech tree tanks are right now. Players research modules as far for as crews go and use credits to purchase them. In addition, such modules can be equipped to other suitable vehicles. So if you unlock a, a module does not from one from tank, you can version. still use it on the other, which is no different. In the shop. Which is it no different to how things are. So one concern might have been that, oh, we'll have to re-grind it. Now, if you've already got it unlocked, you've got it unlocked. The gun's in this tank and this tank and it's unlocked, it's going to be, it's still going to be there. So what I, what I was talking about, the low T ones, I think this is a good thing. It neatens up the tech trees. And um, if once you've got a tier six, which isn't too hard to do, you can go and buy them. So if you've already got these tanks in your garage, you get to keep them. They won't be premium tanks and they will still need their own crew as far as I'm aware. Um, but the tier six to 10 is going to be a different case, as you can see on the screen. Watch this and tell me what you think. The 10 vehicles, it's a different case. There are few such vehicles. They are not being removed from the game and you'll be able to get them in the future. How? We'll explain later. If you already have any of these vehicles, when the update is released, these are the vehicles it will remain that, in your garage. Um, are being removed Moreover, it from will be converted to a to special 10. vehicle. It's going to be converted to a special vehicle. They're not saying premium tank. They're not saying premium tank. It'll be converted to a special vehicle. Now, right now, we don't know how you can get these tanks if you don't have them already. Personally, I'll be rebuying as any one of these tanks that I want to keep, I'll be rebuying in the hope that I might get a free premium tank. From the Russian line, from tier 6 and above, it's the KV-85, the KV-13 and the T-62A. I think they'll be, I think they will work like premium tanks. They are, they are, pretty soon they're going to say that um, in the video they'll point out that all of these tanks will have their top configuration. So they'll have, um, they will have, uh, what am I trying to say? They will have the top gun, the top radio, all that kind of stuff. They'll have all that. And uh, so to me, that tells me it's going to be like a premium tank. The T-62A, the T-10s, there's there's uh, three tier 10s in this. The T-62A, the AMX-30B from France, and the 113 from China. Those three tanks are going to be removed from the tech tree, which tells me they'll pro they might be replaced. I would imagine the 113 will be replaced with a, maybe a new tank. But th those tanks, I think, will become... Pseudo premium tanks at tier 10, like the FE215B, the 215B 183, and the FOC have all become those tech, those tier 10 tanks that were removed from the tech trees earlier. You can now buy them on the black market and all that kind of stuff. I think that would be, I think that is what they're going to do with them. I'm not sure how I see it. They don't disclose in the video how you can get them. So to me, that three, three or four things: bond shop, premium shop, money, uh, reward tanks of some description. That's why I'm going to be buying them. Uh, I've got I've got a few of them in my garage, but that's why I'll be buying a few of these tanks before these changes come through. And you'll get it in its top configuration, even if you've not researched a single module for it yet. If you previously researched and purchased a vehicle that is now removed from the branch, we'll automatically unlock the next vehicle or the vehicle so of a higher tier in the same tech tree. That's what Blueprint they're trying to point out. Blueprint fragments of vehicles that we're going to remove uh, in this part will be converted of the video. into national and also the, um, if a the tank is going to be fully tier, loaded, which was that, which there was concern the about the uh, the pattern. This difference will also not be compensated the with national fragments. Maybe the maybe the derp gun on the Sherman is not an option. 
Um, now, the, the, test, the rest of the video the is, a, is not so changes. much important. They're changing, they're changing the, um, the service record. They're changing the uh, in-game statistics, which I think is a good thing. It's going to be a little bit prettier when they go through there. And uh, I don't think they put any pictures of it on there. And the other thing that they're talking about is uh, the personal missions. The personal missions might get... They're going to be... They're gonna, it's going to be better. Into the damage and the hit points related to missions will be updated sometime after New Balance They're is gonna released. This will be that'll be due to the data um, for it. ammunition changes. I would imagine. I would imagine that would be due to the ammunition Economic changes. Avoid. The only thing they talk about with the economy changes, economy they that basically say that. On the damage dealt with the hit whatever you're doing now, you're not going to lose be credits. For. I think that's the way they're putting this one. The income will not decrease in any case. We want to keep it at the same level as before. That's a good thing. We don't want any credits more credits. will be changed in such a way so that you will earn as much as you did before with the same battle performance. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to say. Winding up this video now. Rewards for sandbox. This is a good thing. If you participate in the sandbox, you get some free stuff. Regarding the new balance. This stage of testing is probably the most important This is a good incentive for people to play this like as many players as possible to participate. I personally won't because I think it's too far from where I live and the lag will be terrible. In a special survey. But if you're interested, of by all means, it get on board it. So we will reward those who decide to participate. There will be special missions on the test server that will allow you to get Days of World of Tanks premium account and a special medal on the main server for completing them. It's not bad. To earn these rewards, you yeah, need to both complete cool. missions and complete a special survey. I don't survey. like this. I think, this is, good, I think this is a good change. After the I'm sure about these high tier tanks Approximately on February 19th. The rewards for those missions will only be added to your account if you play on the test server and answer all the questions in the survey. Don't forget the survey, Taking folks. Taking part in the new balance test is as easy as participating in the This is encourage more people tests. To play on it. I think some people. Description. I'm, I'm Download not sure. And is it good? Is it, is if you don't have good? wargaming.net. Is the um, is the test a good thing? I'm not too sure. Once again, these are the tanks. These are the tier. These are the higher tier tanks that are being that that are proposed to be removed from the game. Now, don't panic. You don't need to go out and buy these things straight away. The KV-85, the KV-13, and the T-62A from Russia. The VK-30-01D from Germany, as well as the Jag Panther 2. Jag Panther 2, funny story. My first ever video was with the JP-2. Uh, the T-21 from America, the M4A3E2. There was concern about that one because the top gun is not the derp gun. Of course, there's derp changes anyway, so maybe... Who knows? The T-71DA, that's an auto-loading Tier 7 American light tank. The AMX-30, the 30B at Tier 10. The Churchill gun carrier, the game carrier. The Fireflight, both at Tier 6. And the Chinese 113. In my opinion, I think the Tier 10 tanks will become reward tanks of some description. Whether it's through um, uh, reward tank. Yeah, reward tank. Bond, bond shop, maybe. Um, reward tanks for... for who knows? Who knows? It's all speculation. The other ones, though, I'm guessing maybe Bond Shop, Premium Shop, or um, uh, some kind of reward. Who knows? It's all it's all speculation. There's no use speculating. Getting back to the um, that website, this website, which I'm going to link, link down below. This is the World of Tanks Asia from the World of Tanks Asia website. It's going to um, it goes through it, tell, it goes through a little bit more detail. I want to wind up this video because we are starting to waffle on. There's a thing about the there's a thing about the shells, the standard shells, the special shells, the uh, high explosive shells. Changes to HE, changes to artillery, taking another step forward. This is this is the thing that made my ears prick up, and it's about the tanks. 92 tanks being removed from the tech tree. Yes, I like how it's the tech tree is going to look so much more neater, especially how the uh, the tech tree premium tanks are displayed. 92 vehicles is a lot of vehicles though. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But on a positive, don't panic about the low tier ones. Tier ones to four, you'll be able to um, buy them in the collection tab, which is what we saw in that video. Tiers one to one to four, one to five, you can buy in the collections tab, which we saw in that video. You just click on the relevant country and buy it. If you've got a tier six tank of, of that country, you can buy these whenever you like. So you don't need to go out and panic buy the low tier ones. The higher tier ones, though, mm, I'll be considering doing it. If I've still got credits left after this black market sale, I'll be um, I'll be looking at which ones I want to buy for sure. Vehicles from tier 6 to 10 will not leave the game. You will still be able to get them in the future, and we will go into all the details regarding this at a later date. That tells me premium shop, um, in-game gold, in-game bond shop, or some kind of uh, mission sets. Don't mind the mission sets. Don't mind them at all. And of course, maybe black market for the tier tens. Um, if you've got them in your garage, though, they'll stay there. So you might be able to use them as a as a pseudo uh, premium tank, like you can with the clan wars reward tanks, the personal mission tanks, the tier nine, the, the AE phase tank, whatever it's called, and in game statistics display. Yeah, they're good on them. And and then they'll they'll they change the personal missions every every few months anyway, don't they? Anyway. 
Once again, if you want to participate in the sandbox, click the link in the bottom of the um, of the article, which I'll link in the in the description below. And you do get some missions to get some premium time and some boosters and all that kind of stuff. Personally, I don't do it because it's going to be um, a little bit too hard to, to to do to do it from Melbourne, from sunny Melbourne. I think that I think the test servers in Germany or Europe somewhere. But uh, once again, these are the to wind up. These are the tanks that are being removed uh, from tier six and above that you might want to consider buying at some stage. They'll be they'll be it'll be it's it's only at sand, it's only at sandbox, so it hasn't reached. Um, common test yet so it's I've, that tells me it's at least two patches away i think uh, we're not too far from patch 1.8 and um so it may be 1.9 or 1.10 or whatever it is whatever it's going to be it's all speculation at this point but um yeah i think these tanks here that you can see on the screen three six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen lucky 13 tanks they will be um possibly monetizing the tanks i'm not too sure anyway thanks for watching this has been uh, who's on board who's on board that's what we're naming these new segments we're going to change the channel up a bit hope you've enjoyed it click like subscribe all that kind of jazz don't forget to follow us on twitch facebook discord all links below thanks for watching everyone hopefully this has um outlined a few things and hopefully I haven't waffled on too much thanks for watching take care and see you all next time